Hello, today we're going to talk about this Honda E900 generator. This one, to my best knowledge, was made in 1971, so it's 2019 now. That should make this 48 years old. It has a Honda G28EA motor on it, which started production in 1969, and I believe Honda still has variants of the G28 still in production today. The fuel tank capacity on this is 2.6 liters and should last or run continuously for approximately three hours. The spark plug that is on this unit is right there and what came with it was a NGK C-6HB. It's to my knowledge that that is no longer produced and the replacement one is the NGK CR 7 HSA that is NGK and the model is CR 7 HSA if you happen to have one of these interesting on this exhaust down here it's actually threaded I assume 48 years ago people were actually trusted to potentially extend their exhaust or run that to a five gallon bucket of water to help clean that a little bit behind this screw uh, this panel is actually removable. There is a carburetor behind it and a valve that you can twist to remove the gasoline and drain it if you're going to be storing this unit for an extended period of time. Come back around to the front. A couple things that I'd like to point out. This is not a self-grounding unit. Right there is a screw, so you'd be able to ground this if you're using appliances that require to ground. Also, this DC is 12 volts, but is only for car batteries, according to the manual. And it's for batteries or automotive batteries that is more than 70 amp hours. Interestingly, the DC output is uh, rated at below 15 amps and AC below 10 amps. Unfortunately, the manual doesn't really state exactly what the amperage out for both is. Uh, but it does say that they recommend for continuous power usage below 800 watts and between 800 and 900 watts if uh, for only temporarily for 15 minute bursts or 15 minutes at a time if you're needing to use somewhere between 800 and 900 watts. The manual that came with this said that there was a way to adjust the output to allow for more wattage, but it was also covered up with a piece of paper. So I'm assuming Honda decided that was a bad idea and did not want anyone actually trying to do that with the unit. Uh, up here, these fuses, you actually have to unscrew these. They are the old glass type fuses cylinders and the green button right there is not a primer that's actually a light to let you know that it is generating power over here is the on and off switch this switch if you leave on is allowing gas to go down to the engine but also um, it does turn on and off so in storage you definitely want that on off I will show in this next video uh, this running